Hi. My name is Stephen Sharp. Hi, it's nice to be here. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not used to kind of like talking in a kind of like a lecture theater. It's usually me with a pint and a guitar and just kind of like chatting to the audience and being like, what you want to know? It's always kind of been my thing. It's kind of what I do. It's been a thing that's kind of happened. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I'm a singer-songwriter. I'm also like super gay. So like it's kind of... But it, it came from... Uh, God, how to describe this? So I came out at like 16. And since then, which was like, you know, 14 years ago, girl, I'm old. It's just like, stop. Um, and since then, I've just been answering a lot of questions by people who are very curious, being like, oh, how does this work? And how does this work? And what's your mom saying? What's your dad saying? And what was it like growing up in a small town? I was like, girl, I'll tell you. Come through. I'd be at the back of like house parties and stuff. And uh, there'd be a guy, and he'd be like, oh, you. You gay. And I'm like, yes. You're cute. Do you want to date me or something? And they're like, no, no, no. No, I'm not gay. I just, like, you know, what's it like? You know, so, look, I'm not gay, but, like, you know, what's it like being gay? And I'm like, oh. And instead of being like, oh, what, would you ask a random person on the street these random questions? No. But instead of doing that, I just, I just answer their questions. I have their funny little gay friend that they met at this house party, and I just tell them the realness. And when I started uh, taking uh, songwriting seriously, that was the one thing I wanted to put through in it. I wanted to answer all the questions that I've been asked my entire life. I wanted to do it in an entertaining way. I wanted to do it in a very honest way. And I wanted to beat them to the punch. Like you saw me coming out here. Look what I'm wearing, girl. I don't want you at the back going like, I wonder is he gay? <laughs> like, I don't, I'm, I'm sick of being asked that question, you know? <laughs> I just want you to know and feel the realness. So those of you who snuck in drink, open up your cans now, and we're just going to have a little powwow, if that's okay, all right? And I'll answer some questions. A little bit of advice. If you do decide to come out to your mother, don't do it when incredibly drunk. Don't do it on Christmas Day. And under no circumstance do you ever bring up religion. What did I come home for? Is feeling working. What did I come home for? I wrote a whole damn day. And she said, Baby, 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 I shut your mouth. Don't you know some of us you got to live in this town? The word is What did I come home for? Be in my big mouth. And I said, It's top heavy and I quit. You see, the truth came out and the roof caved in. But I'm fat and happy I get them the slip. But I got out, but there's others trapped in. It's okay, it's okay, I'll go. It's okay, it's okay, I know. It's okay, it's okay, I'll go. What did I come home for? What did I come home for? Well, I'm just shocked. Kind of that big of a surprise though, really, right? Did you just bless yourself? Can't save my soul If black is cold And long been sold So save your prayers From one who cares Ain't no God up there Ain't going to heaven Don't ever let me in Ain't going to hell, mom Cause it don't exist No, it don't exist she told me to sober up, go to bed, and she talked to me in the morning. When I woke up, there was a turkey sandwich next to my bed, and she was nowhere to be found. Now it turns out, she had gotten up extra early and went to my friend Michael's house. Now Michael's family kind of became a surrogate family for me when I was a teenager because my family were super religious. And 
I was super gay. And my mother picked up Michael's mother, Kathy, and they went driving around town. And Kathy told me later, like, she just kept repeating the same thing over and over and over again. Oh my God, what's he gonna do? Now later that day, my mom picked me up and we had a chat and she said something to me that you should probably never tell a really hungover 18 year old after they tell you that they're gay. And I'll tell you, just so you know. It's a lonely life, it's a lonely life. She sat me down one day, she turned around and said, hey, no, it's a lonely life. It's a lonely life, oh, it's a lonely life. Now you listen to me. So find a girl, settle down, make her your wife. Have some kids, build a house, and have a life. Cause I've been thinking about it all night and thinking about it all day. Who's gonna take care of my baby boy when he's old and gray? Cause it's a lonely life, oh, it's a lonely life. She sat me down one day, I turned around and said, Hey, no, oh, that's a lonely life. No, that's a lonely life, no, that's a lonely life. Now you listen to me. To find the girl, lot of her to get to be in the wife. Have some kids, settle down, and live a life. Oh, maybe every once in a while, in the backseat of a car or a dodgy bar, I'm scrawling for ass online at night. Well, that's why they invented gay dog. No, that's a lonely life. No, that's a lonely life. She sat me down one day. I turned around and said, Hey. No, that's a lonely life. No, that's a lonely life. No, that's a lonely life. Now you listen to me. At least I know who I am when I'm 18. And not when I'm like 45. Oh. Uh, that would be a really lonely life. Now where I'm from in Tipperary, there was a guy, his name was Tommy. And the Tommy never got married or had any kids. And everyone thought he was a bit funny. And I remember growing up and just saying, oh, people would be like, Still, we're away from Tommy. Still, we're clear away from Tommy. It's very hard to say. Because he's a bit funny. When I was 21, Tommy died. He had fallen over and hit his head on the coffee table. And it took him three days to find his body. His meals and wheels just kept piling up outside the door. But no one really talked to Tommy because he was a bit funny, you know? And I think that's what my mom was most afraid of. Because I'm a bit funny, you know? Thank you. Ah, oh, shut up! Not done yet. <laughs> This is usually the pint I'd grab my pint and be like, sorry for all the realness. I know I don't know you very well, but I just told you everything. <laughs> uh, oh, I didn't swear. I'm really happy about myself. I, I love swearing. I'm trying not to. I'm doing a really good job. I got another couple of minutes left. Let's see if I can make it. All right. Um, I'm not going to leave you with that one. Oh, my God, because that was like a lot. Um, uh, and uh, Just so you all know, like my mom is like my best friend. I love her so much. And if you're watching this, hey. Um, 
I love her. I love her so much. It was just like, it's, it's, it's weird, you know? Like when someone gets a, like, you know, it's like, oh my God, how do I react? My 18 year old son, I've never met a gay person before. Blah, blah. So, um, yeah, that's what I was just trying to p- put it across in song. She came and saw that show, actually. It was upstairs here about, oh God, about seven, six years ago. And uh, uh, she was like, that's all a lie. What you just, that never happened. And I was like, no, I remember it was quite traumatizing. So. <laughs> Oh, stop. Anyway. So, what, is, what am I talking about? Oh, it's me. Oh, glue. Oh, oh there I am. Uh, who's the man? Give them the answer before they ask a question. Okay. Why did I pick that? I get asked a lot of questions. We've already talked about this. But I would like to sing this song about the man that asked me the most questions in my life, and that is my father. He asked me so many goddamn questions. When are you gonna get a real job? Why are you wearing nail varnish? Why are you looking like Neil Diamond right now? So. (laughs) But like, it's funny because he'd never met a gay person before. And when I was 21, I came out to him and he was like, boom, you met a gay person and you've been living with him for 21 years. So he had a few questions. So I would answer these questions. But I want to start with a question he asked me when I was 19. We were watching the movie Philadelphia. You know the one where Tom Hanks contracts AIDS and then with the help of Denzel Washington sues the company for wrongfully firing him? Well, halfway through the movie and halfway through a bottle of wine, my dad piped up and he said, hey, do you think AIDS was a plague sent by God to kill off all the gay people? And I looked at my mother, who you know I... She just recently found out I was like a gay person. And I said to her, under my breath, I looked at her and I said to her, you know what I said to her? I said, hope not. (laughs) And he asked me the question. Are you gay? In your dreams. And what's with all the dancing? And why on earth do you talk like that? And he asked me the question, but who's the man? But who's the man? But who's the man? But who's the man? man? And he asked me the question, is saying the N-word the same as saying the word faggot? And what kind of baby are you going to adopt? So you're working top man for the rest of your life, is that it? And he asked me the question, but who's the man? But who's the man? But who's the man? But who's the man? And I said, well, we both are. That's kind of the um, definition. And he said, no, 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 no. Who's the man? And I thought, oh my God, he really doesn't get this. I'm gonna buy him a dictionary for Christmas. And then it dawned on me, the father, my father, the question he was really asking. And I had the answer all locked and loaded. I was going to say, well, it's kind of a 50-50 give and take relationship I got going here. You know what I'm saying? Versatile. But I looked into my father's eyes and I realized, wow, that is not the answer to this question, this present time in his life. So I looked into his eyes and I lied. I don't feel proud of it, but it had to be done. And I said to my father, I said to him, I said, well, I'll tell you what I said. I'm the man. Yes, I'm the man. Yes, I'm the man. Yes, I'm the man. And what did he say? I'll tell you. He says, he says, 
Good, 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 good